We're currently at the Ritz Carlton Hotel for the Amelia Island Concord. Three million, one hundred thousand dollars. He said no. Sold three million, fifteen thousand dollars. This beautiful heritage gloss steel blue McLaren Speedtail, number 87 of 106 examples produced, just sold for $2.7 million. Rolling by is a Ford GT Le Mans race car from the Ford Chip Ganassi Racing Program. The brand new Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. Believe it or not, this was the very first customer delivered Series 3 LP400S, and what an amazing spec it is. Now let's head over here and take a look at some more nice cars. Here we've got another Lamborghini Countach, this one in blue Tahiti over red. This is a factory spec, one of one, with only 187 miles, and it's never been shown or seen before today. Here's a look at the V12 engine. I'm curious if you guys prefer this color, blue Tahiti, or verde metallizzato. This is a classic certified Ferrari F40 that was a gift from Ferrari to mega successful Formula One driver Nigel Mansell, the last Ferrari driver chosen by Enzo Ferrari before he passed away in 1988. Seeing this special F40 parked next to this bold Countach is a real treat. We've got a 1993 Jaguar XJ220 in a metallic dark blue. Every time I see this car, I'm reminded of just how large it is. The back end is so long, so much presence back here, it's crazy. And then we have the 1 of 80 1999 Lamborghini Diablo GT, which is powered by a 6 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine. It can reach a top speed of 210 miles per hour. This car looks amazing with the scissor doors up, just like they were up on the Countach. Let's take a look at these lightweight carbon fiber bucket seats. Look at all this glossy carbon fiber shining in the sun. I love the raging bull embroidered on the leather seat. You've got the gated shifter that everyone loves. I always love looking at the interiors of older Lamborghinis and seeing just how far Lamborghini has come. Here's the V12 engine with eye-catching glossy carbon fiber. You've got a plaque that says 6 liter V12 with GT lettering. This is so cool to see. Back here, we've got the Hispano Suiza Carmen Ballone, a fully electric retro-inspired hypercar that makes 1,114 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. It tops out at 180 miles per hour. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes place in just 2.6 seconds. This spec is so unique, purple-tinted carbon fiber with a white interior. The finish is actually called Ocean Song Rose, which is the name of the customer's favorite flower. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this car though. I'll show you the back end here. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on it. The design is very interesting. I don't love how the taillights are pointed towards the ground, and I'm not loving these hips. I'm also not a big fan of the wheels, but I like that it's something new, something totally unique. Here's a better look at the very bright and clean interior. I'd hate to get that dirty. The company actually refers to this Super EV as one of the most carbon fiber intensive cars in the world. The carbon fiber monocoque chassis itself weighs just 430 pounds. This car was designed and developed completely in Spain, which is also the site of manufacture and origin of 75% of the car's parts. Delivery of the five examples to be made began in early 2022. This is the very first one with a price tag of $1.9 million. Here's the front trunk lined in white leather with quilted purple stitching. And I'd assume these are signatures from the people who built it. Across the pond over there, we've got one of the Ford GT Le Mans race cars being pulled towards the award stage. Another unique machine is this 1 of 6 Ferrari Sergio, a car that was made to honor Sergio Pininfarina, the head of the Italian design house that Ferrari worked extensively with. 
worth around $5 million now. It's based on the 458 Speciale. You can definitely tell that when you look at the back of the car with the rear diffuser and the exhaust. I mean, that caught my eye immediately. Same with the taillights, of course. Those are straight off of the 458. Very interesting design. I'm glad I got to see it here. It's my first time seeing it. And next to it is an Argento Nürburgring LaFerrari, the one of 499 hybrid hypercar with 949 horsepower coming from a V12 engine and an electric motor. This is the first time I've seen it in silver. It looks really good. If these two cars weren't special enough, there's a Porsche Carrera GT in Guards Red. It's believed that only 42 Carrera GTs in this color were imported into the United States. So it's special to see because most of the 1,270 cars built were sold in silver or black. I want to say this is my second or third time seeing one in Guards Red, but it's still awesome to see, especially in the presence of other incredibly rare cars cars. This color is so bright you can easily notice it from across the pond all the way over there. The sound of its 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V10 engine is music to my ears. On the other side of the Sergio, we've got the three-seater Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus 004S with a draft skin interior. The interior is as bold as the exterior, if not more. You really can't miss this bright gold paint. You could spot this thing from miles away. It's parked next to the Bianco Benny Pagani Waira with the Tempesta package. You've got a mix of exposed carbon fiber and pearl white paint on this car. The prominent Tempesta front splitter, these beautifully shaped mirrors, which are modeled after a woman's eye, as well as a classy red and black leather interior. Just look at how intricate everything is. So much attention to detail, so much thought and beauty on both the exterior and the interior. And because the back of the car is opened up, you can see the V12 engine sourced from Mercedes AMG that makes over 700 horsepower. The titanium exhaust over there looks amazing got the Tempesta wing that says Pagani on it. And man, that's a view right there. The roof scoop sticking up into the sky. That's amazing. So are the gullwing doors, of course. This car is like a transformer. Mm -hmm. 